Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. The Big Five Personality Trait Taxonomy, also known as the Five-Factor Model, is a widely accepted and influential framework used in organizational behavior and human resource management to describe and categorize human personality. It identifies five broad dimensions that capture the most significant and stable variations in human personality traits. So what are the Big Five Personality Traits? How should we apply the model and measure those personality traits? Do they have some limitations? In this video, I will discuss these questions with you. Section 1. History and Background. The Big Five model resulted from the contributions of many independent researchers. To name a few, American psychologist Gordon Allport first formed a list of 4,500 terms relating to personality traits in 1936. His work provided the foundation for other psychologists to begin determining the basic dimensions of personality. In the 1940s, British-American psychologist Raymond Cattell and his colleagues used factor analysis, a statistical method, to narrow down Allport's list to 16 traits. However, numerous psychologists examined Cattell's list and found that it could be further reduced to five traits. In particular, American personality psychologist Louis Goldberg advocated heavily for five primary factors of personality. His work in 1990 confirmed the five-factor model's validity and provided the model used today. Section 2. Big Five. Let's now examine each of these five traits individually. Number 1. Openness to experience. This dimension reflects the extent to which individuals are open-minded, imaginative, curious, and willing to engage in new experiences and ideas. People high in openness tend to be more creative, open to change, and intellectually curious. Number 2. Conscientiousness. This factor measures the degree of self-discipline, organization, dependability, and goal-directed behavior. Individuals who are high in conscientiousness are often diligent, responsible, and reliable. Number 3. Extroversion. Extroversion refers to the level of sociability, enthusiasm, and assertiveness in an individual. People high in extroversion are often outgoing, energetic, and enjoy social interactions. Number 4. Agreeableness. This trait indicates the level of warmth, kindness, cooperativeness, and empathy a person exhibits. Those who score high in agreeableness are generally compassionate, considerate, and accommodating. Number 5. Neuroticism, sometimes also referred to as emotional stability. Neuroticism is the degree of emotional instability, anxiety, and reactivity to stress. Individuals high in neuroticism may experience more intense negative emotions and be more prone to worry and mood swings. Section 3. Applications. Here are seven major applications of the Big Five Personality Trait Taxonomy. Number 1. Assess personality traits. Use personality assessment tools or techniques to evaluate the personality traits of team members. There are various validated questionnaires available that measure the Big Five traits. This assessment will provide insights into each team member's level of openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and emotional stability. Number 2. Build complementary teams. Consider the personality traits of team members when forming groups. Strive for a balance of different traits within the team to ensure diverse perspectives and skills. For example, a team requiring creativity and innovation may benefit from having members with higher openness to experience. Number 3. Assign roles appropriately. Align individual strengths and personalities with specific roles and responsibilities within the team. A highly conscientious team member might be well-suited for tasks requiring precision and attention to detail, while an extroverted team member could excel in client-facing or collaborative roles. Number 4. Adapt communication styles. Tailor your communication approach to each team member's personality. Some individuals may prefer direct and concise communication, while others may appreciate a more empathetic and supportive approach. Adapting your communication can enhance engagement and understanding. Number 5. Provide training and development. Consider the five-factor model when designing training programs. Tailor training to individual needs and preferences based on personality traits. For instance, individuals with lower openness may benefit from practical and concrete examples during training. Number 6. Manage conflict effectively. Be aware of potential clashes in personality traits that may lead to conflicts within the team. Mediate conflicts with an understanding of each team member's personality and encourage open dialogue to find resolutions. Number 7. Recognize individual motivators. Recognize that individuals may be driven by different factors based on their personality traits. 
Some team members may be motivated by recognition and praise, while others may be motivated by challenging and meaningful work. Section 4. Measurement. Traditionally, the Big Five personality test is taken with a questionnaire and a multiple-choice response. For example, these questions will ask how much a person agrees or disagrees that he or she is someone who exemplifies various specific statements, such as open to trying new experiences for openness or open-mindedness, always thinking about others for conscientiousness, the center of attention at a party for extroversion, trusting of others for agreeableness, anxious about the future all the time for neuroticism or negative emotionality. The responses from strongly agree to strongly disagree, with alternatives in between, will determine to what scale the person may be grouped into different personality traits. Many researchers suggest that the assessments based on the Big Five personality tests are very reliable. Section 5. Limitation. While the Big Five personality traits provide valuable insights into human personality, there are several limitations to consider. First limited scope. The Big Five traits cover broad dimensions of personality, but they may not capture all aspects of an individual's personality. Other personality frameworks or specific traits might be relevant in certain contexts, such as situational behaviors or cultural variations. Second, cultural bias. The Big Five traits were primarily developed and validated in Western cultures, raising concerns about their applicability and cultural bias in non-Western contexts. Some traits might manifest differently or hold different significance across cultures. Third, stability over time. The big five traits tend to be relatively stable over time, which may not fully account for personality changes and developmental shifts that can occur throughout a person's life. Fourth, self-report bias. Personality assessments, particularly self-report questionnaires, may be subject to response biases and inaccuracies due to participants' desire to present themselves in a socially desirable manner. Please keep in mind that despite these limitations, the Big Five personality traits remain one of the most comprehensive and useful frameworks for understanding human personality, and they continue to be valuable in various fields, such as psychology, organizational behavior, and social sciences. All right, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your thoughts in a comment below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.